You guys have anything to say about this? Arresting somebody for reading the Constitution? Or is that now illegal in this area? If so, that's something we should know about. Prepare for it. Why is she being arrested? Give my pack. Tell me what's going on, ma'am. They're just arresting me for peacefully talking and by the side of the sidewalk. I was not invading there. That's mine. Yes. The charges, please. There are no charges. I've not been told anything. Officers. What are the charges? Okay, Officer please? Smith and Officer I Amy. Was peacefully on the sidewalk. Matt McDaniel. Take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. Good God. I, I just came to the scene as a Why Not News reporter. Uh, will you please let me know what's going on here? Well, there was a rally. We were here peacefully, uh, relegated to the side of the show here. And uh, suddenly I see people being dragged out for reading the First Amendment. For reading the Constitution? Yeah. Annie, These guys dragged Annie him out for reading York. the Constitution? Annie from New York was arrested for reading the Constitution. Do you have any comments of how, why you would arrest people for reading the Constitution? This way, this way. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank Step you. back. Well, I, I better run home and get my Constitution. They're re arresting people for reading the Constitution as we speak. Not even, but they're not actually informing people why they're being arrested. And they won't let us let them know. Is there any charges? What, any charges? Of the what are the charges? So we can inform the families and our lawyers. We please let us know what the charges are. Ladies, have you been informed of any charges against you? Were you warned that you were breaking the law? Okay, we got all the names of these guys. Which will be up right away for everybody to see. I think this is the definition of a police state when we get arrested for reading our Constitution. You gentlemen have anything to say about that? Wouldn't you gentlemen prefer to, on your oath, to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign or domestic? Because you guys are starting to look like domestic enemies yourselves if you're attacking and arresting us for reading the Constitution. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Or is your silence... I guess your silence explains it all. 
Ma'am, um, I've just come up upon the scene. Will you please explain to me what's going on? Well, I'm, I don't know the woman personally. Um, she is a sister protester, and we've been assembled over here uh, with a, some other Americans who are here representing issues that we really found problematic, and so we were here to give a, a, our counter side of the truth. And um, our, they started the corralling of our liberties by taking away our freedom, basically, of holding up signs, standing too close to one another. Um, all this and obviously an enormous public space that's already been permitted. Um, and then eventually we couldn't speak out. So regardless, whether I'm speaking about my grandchildren, when, when I heard things that were really, really offensive to me and someone who loves my country and my grandchildren, were I to speak out, this is what would my... This is what would be This my is how you were treated for speaking out for this America and American values? It is indeed. By these gentlemen? These that hardly makes any sense gentlemen. to me. These They're supposed to be here defending our rights, not taking gentlemen. them away. These gentlemen are, 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 are the arm of decisions being made far higher up that are committed to taking away each and every liberty. We have so little left of the Bill of Rights, and right here, boom. Free, yeah, freedom of speech just went out the window, too. So. Okay, well, we're going to go down and see who else gets dragged off for defending their rights. Thank you, Shirley Johnson. Thank you so much. Thanks for You guys need to read that Constitution, get familiar with it, because now we have to come down here and all read the Constitution all the time. It would save us a lot of trouble by just going ahead and honoring the Constitution. Defend our rights, not corporate interest rights. Unbelievable. Well, police state. Mommy, mommy, is it a police state yet? No, yes, no, I got it. Amy, and what I just have I guess so, okay. Well, why not? News is going to come see what's going on down here. Got some good names, a video documentation of who all the officers were to use for litigation later. Thank you, officer. Hey, brother, would you explain to me uh, what's going on here today? Well, there was a, seemed to be a pro-war rally. Uh, Mr. Lieberman, Mr. McCain, and, well, oh, I can't remember, Lindsey Graham, I believe, spoke, and uh, police kept us away from that group, and told us we could stand there with signs, but if anybody spoke out or booed, they'd be arrested, and they arrested... You mean if they exercised their free speech, speech. rights? So they arrested one code pink woman for reading the Constitution, they arrested uh, Iraqi war veteran Leah Bolger for speaking out and dragged her off. David Barrows was arrested for speaking out. Um, and there were two others who I don't know. But um, it was just for speaking out. Okay, well, thank you no very profanity, much. No profanity, no loud noise. Thank you very much. We're going to go further into the scene. We are Kid, Christine, and Annie, and Rebecca.